food banks have never been as important as they are today. In March, two million people used a Canadian food bank. But now some food banks aren't accommodating everyone anymore. And one type of client may no longer be welcome. Is all these young kids coming with their backpacks saying they want help? Here at St. Louis Outreach Food Bank in Brampton, students from outside the country aren't served anymore. But they're just raiding anywhere to get anything they can. We can't handle that, you know? No, all, everyone's running out of food. Food Bank has a whiteboard out front during opening hours. It says government regulations allow it to exclude international students. But is there a policy? I mean, you were telling somebody was telling my colleague that there's a policy. I think it, it's on the window, sir. The policy? Yes. The Food Bank posts a copy of what the government expects of international students coming to study here, that they be self-sufficient. Kenny, a Nigerian student who says he has a wife and daughter, showed up for food. He asked that his face not be shown. I asked why he didn't come with enough money. I had a projection of how I was going to spend the money that I came in here with, but probably the, I, didn't, I didn't plan well. I don't know if I didn't plan well. I don't know if, if the economy was the opposite of what I thought it was. The food bank's board president says they were told some international students have money in the bank. There's been a lot of abuse with People that come with $50,000, 60000 in the bank, and they just want to get free food. With 2,600 local families to help feed, she says the international students are too much. Food banks have seen foreign videos like this one online, describing food banks as a place to get free food. So it's kind of a trend now that everyone's actually been advertised to just come here and immediately come to our doors. And we are bombarded. Kenny is looking for another place to get help. I'll have to go home and find a way to survive.